Train hard, Charizard. We'll meet again someday. Goodbye, old friend. Don't forget me. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 Pokemon moments that'll make you cry. Little Growly howled all night. The boy was found frozen solid. Oh, that's such a sad ending. That poor kid. I can't believe James is gone. For this list, we'll be looking at the saddest or most emotional scenes in Pokemon that are destined to cause a few waterworks. Number 20, Farewell Togetic, A Togepi Mirage. Goodbyes are never easy, but this one in particular is grueling. Misty spent most of the early seasons quite literally holding Togepi close to her chest, so when it finally grew its wings, it felt like the culmination of Misty's efforts as a trainer. Unfortunately, it also meant that Togetic had to stay behind to protect the Mirage Kingdom. Despite its name, there's no mirage thick enough to disguise the bittersweet nature of this sunset-backed farewell. Togetic. I love you. It managed to be satisfying, heartbreaking, and unforgettable all at the same time. With all that, let's just say it's no surprise that neither Misty or Togetic leave with a dry eye. Bye, Togetic! <laughs> Take care! <laughs> Number 19, The End of an Era The Rainbow and the Pokemon Master it's no hyperbole to say that Ash and Pikachu defined a generation. Multiple, actually. But once they achieved their goal of becoming Pokemon Masters, Ash's journey was over. And so was his time as the lead of the series. Given everything the two brought to the franchise, nothing may ever replicate what it feels like to say goodbye to them. The show understandably dedicated a whole arc to their departure, but in the end, it all came down to Ash, Pikachu, and their vow to never stop adventuring. <laughs> it's the undisputed end of Pokemon as we originally know it, and if that doesn't leave you all mushy, we aren't sure what will. Number 18, Celebi's End. Pokemon Forever. Celebi, the voice of the forest. As part of a kid-friendly franchise, the Pokemon anime doesn't usually tackle the idea of death. But not only does the fourth film actually kill off Celebi, it doesn't shy away from any of the grim implications either. What's wrong? I don't know. Something bad. In a surprisingly bleak turn of events, there's nothing Ash can do but sit and watch as the mythical Pokemon shrivels up in his arms. He tries everything in the book to bring it back to life, but in the end, it only makes this moment all the more heart-wrenching. Celebi, you can't die! <laughs> Later, a flock of time-traveling Celebi ensured the mythical Pokemon had a happy ending, but forgetting about its wilting corpse is a different story. Number 17, Charizard's Goodbye, Charizard's Burning Ambitions. It's a trainer's duty to, well, train. In Ash's case, that meant leaving his Charizard at the aptly named Charisific Valley. Surprisingly, Ash's decision was the easy part. Getting Charizard to agree wasn't quite as simple, though. The trainer had to bring out all kinds of nasty insults to convince his stubborn fire type to stay. Stay if you want to. I can get along just fine without you. Ash, no! While neither of them believed his words, that doesn't make things sting any less. If anything, they just underline how much Ash wants his Charizard to succeed, even if it's without him. Then, as if this moment doesn't hit enough, it ends with the realization that Ash can't even bear to look back anymore. Afraid he may change his mind, Ash knows he can't look back, and so he keeps on running. Number 16, Ash, the Pokemon Master. The Finals 4, Partner. It took over 1,200 episodes, but Ash Ketchum finally became the very best like no one ever was. And he proved it through one hell of a battle. The final stretch with Leon's Charizard features some of the best combat the series has ever seen. 
partially because of how high the emotional stakes are. With his ultimate dream on the line, it's only fitting that each of his past partners make one final appearance. But of course, this is Pikachu's fight to win, so with Pokemon's legacy in the balance, Ash's starter delivered a poignant conclusion to a story over 20 years in the making. <laughs> Number 15. Manaphy Returns to the Sea – Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea On paper, this scene has no right being this impactful. It's not the first time a trainer parted ways with a Pokemon, and it definitely wouldn't be the last. May never even officially caught Manaphy either, and yet, against all odds, their adieu hits just the right balance of wistful and melancholic. You won't forget me, will you? This closing scene owes a lot of its emotional heft to the fantastic movie that preceded it. As opposed to the usual one-off legendary, Manaphy had enough personality and screen time to make its bond with May feel honest. Although, that's a dual-edged water gun, since it makes their goodbye hurt in all the right ways. May, are you alright? No, I'm not alright. But I will be. Number 14. Esper's Quest Seeking shelter from the storm In the middle of a dark and stormy night, Ash and the others think they've stumbled into a haunted house. However, the only thing frightening about this episode is Esper's harrowing journey. The Pokemon just wants to be reunited with the home's owner, but unbeknownst to Esper, they've already passed away. I see. So it's been waiting for her. So it could return her pendant. All this time. Yeah. In a sense, the psychic type's entire journey serves as an evocative portrayal of denial, grief, and acceptance. None of the steps would work without the others, but as a whole, they build towards a masterfully cathartic cemetery scene. I know. Do you want to go to the cemetery where Grandma Lacey is now? You can tell her all about the pendant and say goodbye. Yes, Though, heads up, if you're gonna watch it, be sure you have a box of tissues at the ready. Number 13. Ash's Revival Pokemon The First Movie Mewtwo Strikes Back ah! Oh no! When Pokemon flew to the big screen for the first time, fans probably didn't expect to see Ash almost die. The fact it comes as a self-sacrifice doesn't help matters either. Suffice it to say, there's a whole lot of crying going on in this scene and most of it is coming from the Pokemon themselves. In fact, there's so many tears, they end up miraculously bringing Ash back to life. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. To this day, it's one of the most stunning examples of trainer partner solidarity ever. So much so, that by the time Ash opens his eyes again, We'd bet the Pokemon weren't the only ones wiping away tears. Number 12. Dustox Flies Off Crossing Paths As a child, Jesse chose to follow ambition over love and happiness. Years later, the Team Rocket operative made sure her beloved Dustox doesn't make the same mistake. So Dustox, Dog. time to say goodbye. Dog. Yeah, get going! Look, sincere isn't a word that's used to describe Jesse very often. But the obvious parallels to her own backstory make her impassioned pleas feel incredibly genuine. Jessie truly believed this was the best path for Dustox, and just to prove it, she smashed the bug type's Pokeball so it had nowhere to return to. <laughs> now there's no more Pokeball for you to return to! It's not exactly a warm and fuzzy goodbye, but coming from Jesse, it's the best send-off a Mon could ever ask for. Number 11. Warming Up – Snow Way Out Even in the middle of a harsh snowstorm, Ash isn't willing to let Pikachu and the others freeze for his benefits, but in a wholesome twist of fate, his partners feel the same way. You wanna stay out to help keep me warm? Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu. No matter how many times Ash orders his Pokemon to stay warm in their Pokeballs, they insist on huddling with him instead. Apparently, partners who fight together freeze together. 
By this point in the show, they'd all been through a lot, but it's this singular moment that really showed the love between partner and Pokemon. You win. Guess we'll all be cold together. Plus, it even saved them from the blizzard. Guess they don't call it heartwarming for nothing. Number 10, Charmander in the rain. Charmander the stray Pokemon. A Charmander! As one of the most iconic creatures from the games, Charmander was always bound to have a big role in the TV series. It is waiting for its master, who abandoned it. This immediately fills us with pity, but the truly heartbreaking moment comes later. Ash and friends see Charmander out in the rain, still waiting, even though the water will kill it if its flame goes out. Watching Ash try to convince the Pokemon to come in and seeing it refuse is sad because of how committed Charmander is. Knowing that Charmander eventually joins Ash is the silver lining. Come on, Charmander, welcome to the group. Char! Char! Number 9 Ninetales Waits, just waiting on a friend. Well, then you may leave. Go! Huh? But what about. In one of the stranger episodes of the Pokemon series, Ash and company become trapped in a haunted house. There they encounter a Ninetales who refuses to let them leave and wants Brock to be its new trainer. They soon find out the Pokemon is waiting for its master who died long ago. The owner wrote this 200 years ago! Wait, th that would mean this guy is... Yeah. And if Lococo and Ninetales have been waiting for him to come back all this time. This is a strange but mournful moment in the show that highlights the deep connection between Pokemon and their trainers. Ninetales may be misunderstood in the episode, but its loyalty to its trainer is clear and makes us weepy. Thank you all. Goodbye. Number 8. The Contest Winner Win, lose, or Drew. Hey, May, if you're gonna attack, do it! You to fly, you string shot! A great aspect of Ash's travels in Hoenn was being able to see his companion, May, compete her own way to become a better trainer. May had worked so hard to get to the contest finals, and even though she almost wins, in the end, she loses. This was a great dramatic point in the show that teaches viewers about dealing with loss. Seeing Mei break down after the fight is hard to watch, but also great to see her react so realistically. <laughs> I feel awful! It's okay. Seeing how her friends comfort her is reassuring and makes us tear up every time. Never thought how hard it would be to lose! It hurts, Mei. It hurts a lot. Number 7, Changing the Past. Time Warp heals all wounds. If that story don't break your heart, then not well! Pokemon is known for having some otherworldly plot devices in it, and this episode is a great example. After hearing about the tragic story of a girl's grandfather passing away in an accident before her grandmother could see him again, Mei and Meowth are transported back in time and try to change the past. In the process, they save the girl's grandfather from dying and find out the entire town is better off afterwards. This moment is hugely emotional and makes us feel both sadness and happiness because being reunited with a previously deceased relative is something we all wish for. Yes, and they was able to tell him the truth. Who would have thought telling the truth could be a good thing? Number 6, Rocketing Away, A Poached Ego All right, guys, out of the cage. Although Team Rocket are always trying to steal Ash's Pikachu, they have become more than just villains in the show. Throughout the series, we have grown closer to them and understood them as characters more. In this saddening moment, Jesse and James force their Arbok and Weezing to flee from a poacher and join wild Pokemon. Now go! We're able to take care of ourselves! So you guys get out of here and don't you look back! Yo, yo, Weezing! 
Clearly upset by this, the Pokemon reluctantly leave as Team Rocket desperately tries to hold the Poacher and his powerful Pokemon off. The expressions of Arbok and Weezing as they leave are enough to make anyone cry. Number 5. Meowth Learns to Talk Go West, Young Meowth Under the evening sky with the moon high up above I'll mind to speak human cause this cat's got puppy love Meowth has always been a rarity in the series because he is one of the few Pokemon that can speak the same language as humans. In this episode, we find out that he learned to talk for love. Meowth has always seemed to have a deeper characterization than just being a bad guy, and it's great to see that explored. If I wanted her, I had to make myself a human! It's odd not to relate to him even just a little bit after seeing what he has gone through. Sadly, seeing him get turned down at the end makes things all the sadder. Hang in there, Meowth. Well, maybe Meowsy's looking at the moon too. Hmm. Number 4, Butterfreed. Bye bye, Butterfree. Well, I guess you have to leave us now, don't you? They have to cross the ocean to start their new family. This scene is known for its tear jerking parting between Ash and his Butterfree. Being the first Pokemon Ash caught in the wild, the two had a special connection. The moment is a great blend of music, visuals, and heightened feelings from the characters. Bye Bye Butterfree showed the audience that not all of Ash's Pokemon were going to stay with him forever. Don't worry, I'll just tell all the other Pokemon that you're on a trip, and you'll come back someday maybe. Honey. It also set out how Pokemon could deal with mature themes like separation, and how friends may leave each other but still care. Ash wishing Butterfree well is the perfect bittersweet moment. Have a good trip Butterfree! Number 3, Parting Ways. Gotta catch you later. Just keep on doing your best. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know, without me there. Even though she hasn't been a main character on the Pokemon TV show for over a decade, Misty is still remembered as one of its most iconic characters. Her relationship with Ash was funny, difficult, and endearing. So when she and Ash finally part ways, the audience really feels it and it's hard not to get emotional. During a montage of all their moments together, we really get to see how far they've come and how they have affected each other's lives. I guess you guys should go now. Uh, okay, take care. We'll miss you. Although Brock also ends up leaving temporarily as well, beyond anything else, this is just a great wholesome moment that shows the power of friendship. Thank you, Misty and Brock. I'll miss you. Number two, Litten and Stoutland. One journey ends, another begins. Stout. Stout. In a more recent episode, Pokemon dealt with a topic it had often shied away from in recent years, death. Ash follows a litten that he gave food to and finds that it has been feeding an elderly Stoutland. Over the course of the episode, the Stoutland eventually passes away and Litten's reaction to losing its friend is very upsetting. <sighs> As Litten stands in the rain, calling out for its friend, it's easy to see why this makes most viewers cry. A beautiful moment about friendship and dealing with loss, this episode will long be remembered. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pikachu Leaves Ash? Pikachu's Goodbye All of these Pikachu here in the forest need you, so just 
Goodbye! The bond between Ash and Pikachu is one of the most beloved aspects of the TV series. In this season 1 episode, Pikachu finds a group of wild Pikachu and Ash, thinking it would make Pikachu happier, makes Pikachu stay with them. As Ash walks away from his Pokemon, we see a tear-jerking montage of all the great moments the two have shared. The time has come. It's for the best I know it. This scene is a great example of the bond between trainer and Pokemon, and also the drama between characters that fans love so much. Knowing that Pikachu and Ash are quickly reunited doesn't make us any less watery-eyed when we watch it. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.